Hi, I'm Wade from Thoroughbred Diesel, and today we're going to be showing you BD Diesel's Killer Grid Heater Upgrade Kit, and this one we're going to be installing on a 2018 grid heater. So you all have heard on the 6.7 Cummins in the grid heater place from the 2007 and a half to the current trucks, one of the problems that we're seeing or one of the failures that we're seeing is on the grid heater uh, power transfer bolt, uh, the bolt nut will fall out uh, and it will go into the intake runner and it'll wind up in a cylinder and cost you a motor, which is a really, really bad uh, really, really bad deal. So there's some kits out there uh, that keep this from happening, modify the intake plate but one most of those kits just get rid of the grid heater all together leave you without a grid heater if you are taking your vehicle someplace where you don't have the ability to plug it in it's really really nice to be able to have the cycle of the grid heater for the truck to be able to start in colder climates and cold days mornings all the things so there's a way that you can get rid of the problematic grid heater bolt problem without losing your grid heater and that's what bd has brought to you in this kit so this kit is a fully functional just an upgrade kit it gets rid of this bus bar transfer um, power transfer here that is problematic we get rid of it and they come with their own kit that bd is designed um, to upgrade that so we're going to show you that today so let's start off with showing you what comes inside the kit so the kit is going to come with, first off, it's gonna come with the gaskets to be able to take your intake runner uh, plate off and also uh, your intake horn that will also come off of the truck. So it gives you new gaskets for that. So you can take this uh, intake runner plate you can put on the workbench and do this job. And uh, the, so the gaskets come with that. And then uh, BD also does a really good job. I don't know why, I just wanted to get rid of that. BD does a really good job with this. They actually send you a couple tools that you need to do the installation. They send you a really, really thin wrench that works on not only the factory size nut for uh, the power transfer bar that, that brings power to the bus bar, but it also works for the nut here at the grid heater that's a little bit thinner. So they give you the tools inside for that. Then this is the upgraded bus bar that comes from uh, BD. So this is threaded and it's going to accept both of these bolts and on uh, with with this threaded power transfer bar bus bar uh, so you don't have to worry about any of the nuts that would be able to fall down in the intake runner and take your motor out this is the solid stock piece bolts go into it uh, very good then they have the uh, bus bar the initial power transfer that comes with this kit this is designed by them it's actually got the little bd logo in it then you've got a couple thermal washers that come with the kit another nylon washer that's going to go inside the intake plate keep you from having power transfer inside of the plate so this is a really really good kit again the main focus of this kit is for you to be able to keep this grid heater intact but to make it where it's not going to take your engine out so we're going to stop here for just a second i'm going to get set up and get these gaskets and stuff out of the way and we're going to show you how to install this on the intake plate with the grid heater plate outside of the truck just making it easier on you to be able to see what this is all right all right so we're going to go ahead and show you this now first off there is a difference between the 2007 and a half to 2012 uh, intake plates the 2007 and a half to 2012 they have a piece of cast that'll be right here uh, you will need to remove that piece of casting um, before you before you start your reinstallation uh, you just use a, a dremel or something to cut it through you can use a hacksaw blade whatever you whatever works best for you on the 2013 to 2018 you don't have that so this is that handy dandy little thin wrench that uh, bd sends for you inside of the kit uh, and it really works good getting to this nut that is on the back set side of the grid heater right here you can see with that, that all right and then they send you your uh torx bit this is a what was that torx adam i can't remember today you say t25 i think t25 torx bit they send you inside of the kit to remove this bolt and uh, this bolt and nut. And there's gonna be a couple of pieces here that we're gonna retain for our reinstallation of their BD kit. And so I guess you can see that inside the, excuse me. Hope that you can see that inside the frame. Cool. All right. Kind of awkward because I'm upside down here for the camera. So there's a little insulating washer 
This keeps you from having a power transfer that goes to the intake plate itself. So you want to set that aside so you're going to be keeping it. And then you just need one of the steel washers from the plate. That one will work right there. There's another one there. These are two thermals. The stock bolt we won't be retaining. We will not be retaining the stock nut either because that is uh, not used because we're using a threaded bus bar. And then there's another steel washer. You can use that one. In fact, I like that one a little bit better. It's got some neural marks on it. So we're gonna, we're gonna keep that one. So one washer, then that thermal insert is all you need from the bus bar. Okay. The other side of the bus bar, this is your, your little bus transfer that's gonna be at the top and I'll flip it over and show you. But you can go ahead and remove the nut on the bottom and your handy dandy little wrench that BD sends you, that'll work on this too. So we'll just go ahead and we'll just buzz it off. We do not need to retain this nut either. Do a hard spot in the in the threads. If that thing loosens up on you when you're loosening this nut, if it starts rounding off and turning inside of that plastic bus bar, then that means it was compromised and you're doing this at the right time. So I'm gonna go ahead, you won't be using that nut. You're not gonna be using the bus bar anymore. Don't need these thermal discs either. BD sends that in the kit. So now all we do is we just turn this over and the bus bar, that plastic bus bar itself will come right out you got to fool with it just a little bit. If you push it out the top, then that comes out. You don't need it. It's got a little thermal insert on it too, but we're good. We don't need anything. So that's our plate broke down and ready to accept our BD um, killer upgrade. All right. One thing that I forgot to show you on our teardown here is there is a thermal washer and a steel washer between the element here and then this standard of the intake runner. So, and, and those are there to make sure that you don't have transfer of power. Well, the thermal washer is there to keep, make sure you don't have transfer of power into your intake plate. So just take that thin uh, socket and push the two of them out and I'll show you what they were there. There's a steel washer there and a thermal. So now we've got everything broken down for installation. So uh, to get ready for our install, first thing I like to do is I like to replace that uh, so I can re remember where everything goes. So I want to insulate the uh, grid heater power from this standard right here. So I'll get a steel washer that we retained and one of the thermal washers, and I'll put those right back down where the two that I just shoved out came from. And one of the most difficult parts of that is getting it lined up. So I just take that little Torx that came with the kit and I'll put it in there and just make sure everything's lined up, that our two washers are lined up. So now, next thing we're gonna do is you've got your little nylon washer here with the shoulder. You want the shoulder to the bottom side. So this is the underside of the intake plate, or I'm sorry, you put the shoulder inside of the intake plate. And then, well, I guess it depends on what your definition of a shoulder is. You want the nylon washer just like that right there. That is insulating the transfer of power from, again, the intake plate itself. So now we'll flip it over and we'll go back to the top. And with the top, we'll be putting our BD uh, top bus bar back in and it just lays right in there. And then if you're ready for this, you can go ahead and put your uh, the Allen headed bolt in. Uh, it is insulated from Transfer power there and it is threaded. And that's one of the beauties of this kit. That bolt will actually thread right to this bus bar. So what I do is I take the leg of the bus bar that will be energizing the grid heater and I just kind of lay it in there. Uh, but I get it on top of my little Allen headed or my Allen headed bolt from the top bus bar and just tighten it up a turn or two. So you don't drop, don't drop that bolt. So now you can kind of see how this is going to lay out. All right. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our button head bolt that BD sends us and we're going to be putting on the little thermal sleeve that we retained from the stock one. 
We'll put that on there. In fact, actually, I'm wrong. We're going to take our button-headed bolt. We're going to put our thermal washer the BD sends on us. And this insulates our the transfer of power from the uh, intake plate itself, and I'll show you that. And then we're going to put on our little thermal collar here that came from the stock one. All right, and we will just begin to work it through the back side of the plate. And putting it in here, you want your, you want that washer ahead of the standard. And I'll show you what I mean by that. See how that washer is kind of ahead of the standard there. So then you just, I take the, I take the, uh, the Torx bit and just kind of make a couple of turns on it and it'll fall through those washers and then be ready to uh, accept the bus bar. So I'll bring my, pick my bus bar up. So my bus bar is lined up with the bolt. So now we're just going to, I'm trying to keep the shot for you here while I'm lining up my bolt, trying not to cross thread it. So we're going to tighten that down. And tighten our top one down as well. And then that brings everything into sync. Torque specs on these are in the manual, in your BD instructions. Snug that down. Come back over here to our button head. We'll give it another twist. Just see. So there it is installed. And I'll just go across this and I'll show you a side view of it. So you've got your button headed bolt right here it's got a thermal between that and that standard that keeps you from having to transfer power there there is a thermal collar inside of there that keeps you from having to transfer of power because by the shank of the bolt and then if you can see right there on the side of that you can see where i've got my thermal and my steel in there correctly you want your thermal between again that standard but you want the steel uh, mating between the um, to mating to the grid heater because you still want transfer of power to this grid heater element right here. But this is a threaded unit, so now we don't have any of the fasteners that can vibrate loose and fall down into the intake. And we'll give that one just a little bit more. And then there we go. That is the BD Killer uh, heater upgrade. In fact, BD goes so far as to send you a new locking nut that's for the top uh, bus bar. And then that completes your kit right there. And she is ready to go on the truck and give you very many happy miles of worry-free driving. So if you have a question about this BD killer uh, grid heater upgrade kit or any other BD products, just give us a call. And thank you for watching. <music>